trying to notice if like there's any obvious crash, but I think it's like I see smoke, dude. Yeah, no, that smoke is something. I gotta go pee dude. so bad. I mean, we're stopped. You can run into the woods. Yeah, no, like Actually, fucking do it. I have vans on the. If we start going, I'll pull over. <laughs> Oh, there's snow. How's your there's pee? There's snow. No, what? Wait, what are you? How? How's your pee, dude? You got snow in my boots. Yep. <laughs> So, uh, good morning. Oh, morning Hello. it is. I took a fat pee. It's about 7.48 in the morning on Black Friday. We're currently in, uh, New Hampshire. Yep. Somewhere. A little bit past Concord, right? Eh, yeah, yeah, Lakes, Lakes kind region, of. kind of. And we're going zero miles an hour in the fast lane of 93 at 7.48 in the morning. So there's just something going on, and I see smoke and a couple ambulances. Helicopters, though, part I think. Yeah, there's there's, right, give me a there's a helicopter on the road, just chilling. So uh, I don't think we're going anywhere anytime soon. Yeah, it's good stuff. We might have to change our plans. Yup. Depending on how long we're. Seeing. Yup. Yeah. Oh, why don't they just give a little lane open? Oh, oh, it's coming over here. They roll down the window. Company with hundreds of thousands oh, shit. Of employees. I, 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 you know. Uh, it's just too much. They're saying microchipping will give bosses even more power and control over their workers. Oh, well, it's not coming over here. Let's open up this highway, people. The cost is somewhere between like a hundred bucks. Thousand vehicles in stock. Browse the options and then let the full service internet department take care of the details before you even walk through the door. Or stop by Bank Chevrolet, Buick GMC, and Concord, New Hampshire and meet the friendly, knowledgeable team for yourself. Ooh. Right now, current GM lessees can lease a 2018 Chevy Silverado 1500 double cab full wheel drive LT All Star yeah, Edition. The guardrail was bent. Wrecked over 36 oh, miles with down. zero cash down. Yeah. Chevrolet, find new roads. So go ahead, just Google sure. banksautos.com and see what people are saying. Or yeah, talk really to your with okay. the sticker on their phone. Here we are. Appalachia. It is pretty much exactly 10 o'clock in the morning. Got the whole crew here. 10 degrees. It's Jimmy. It's Mike. Ryan. Let's see what, and myself. What is it, 10 degrees out? Valley way, wind chill of negative 20. Yep. Oh. It's probably be between negative 30 and negative 20 on top. Um, November 23rd, 2018. If, if, we, if we're good, if we're good up at Madison, then we can send out. We are here. We're going to come up this valley way. And the goals for today are Madison and Adams. Send it. Pretty tough going on the valley way trail. Um, yeah, it's pretty cold, but you know, we're prepared for it, so that's not a, not a huge deal. Uh, the snow is packed down not very well. I mean, it's packed and there's a decent monorail, but it's mostly pretty loose. It makes it pretty tough going. Um, yeah, it's a lot of energy for each step. I'm already looking forward to the big barbecue dinner that's gonna follow tonight. So that's a plus. Otherwise, it's pretty beautiful out here. It's pretty nice out. Beautiful day, nice clear skies, beautiful sunshine. Should be fun.
we're still on the climb up. About two hours in. And we've got a lot, you can't see it through there, but we got a lot of elevation left to go. So I think what we're gonna do is skip Adams today. Just go straight with go straight up to Madison and then back down the way we came. Still be about nine miles on the day. And when you're post holding up to your knees and you take a wrong step, it's uh I'm fine with that. It's pretty slow going. You know, we're spiked in. We got our gaiters, so our feet are still warm and dry, but damn, this is snow is slippery. It's pretty loose pack, so we're just chugging away, still below tree line. You boys ready? Yeah, you feel better? Worst weather in America. Woo! It's right there, folks. And look at that. That's beautiful. But Ryan's more beautiful. You made it. Oh, that's where we're going. You can't, it's closed. Oh. So. Pretty nice day out if you ask me. Yeah. Alright. There we go. Hell yeah, dude. Going up? Yeah, let's do it. So I can feel it, I can feel it getting warmer, but, yeah, I know, like, it feels like it's so warm, but I know we're going to get back in the car, and it's going to be, like, 9 degrees or something, if that, yeah, I don't know, it's weird how you get, like, it's weird how you get, like, accustomed to cold, you know? Otherwise, this trail is the trail's pretty nice though. Like it's not like it's more packed it down than it was this morning, probably from people coming up after us. So all in all, I think it's pretty good. Hey. I wanna go home. Yup. <laughs> this is a long trail. <laughs> Bye Ryan. <laughs> I'll see you down there. <laughs> this is treacherous. I don't like this.
Yo, that was awesome. Wait, what was that? Five hours and thirty minutes. Nice, not too bad. Hey, we were at the top of the mountain. Like, Yo. Like Yo, Mike. We did it. Hell of a hike. Let's go get some barbecue, boys. Let's go get some. Woo! Woo! Yeah! So I just turned on the car. It's 11 degrees outside. Whoa. That felt like it was like 10 to 15 degrees colder when we were up at the hut, Ooh. let alone the summit. No, no. If it's 11 right now, that's pretty crazy. Thank you.